juicy, tender ocean fresh fish garnished with secret seasoning for that 21st century flavor. Joe's Seafood. It's the human-made touch. And cut. Well, mate, the commercial looks great. The fish looks amazing. Do you mind me asking, what is the secret seasoning? <laughs> <laughs> if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret now, would it? <laughs> Don't. Say. A word. <laughs>Yep, turns out a lot of the food we eat has a not-so-pleasant secret ingredient. Microplastics. And while no one is deliberately sprinkling it in, humans are to blame. Here in Australia, we produce about 2.5 million tonnes of plastic waste every year. But only 13% of it actually gets recycled. In some countries, it's even worse than that. All those pesky plastics break down over time into tiny particles called micro and nanoplastics. Microplastics can also come from things like health and beauty products that use tiny beads or glitter and fibres from synthetic fabrics like clothes. But while these plastics become almost invisible, they never actually disappear. What it appears from the research is that uh, there are places and times when it's actually raining microplastics. So inside our homes, it's raining microplastics dust, whether it's from the curtains, the clothes we use, or the plastic utensils, or from the flooring, the vinyl flooring, or the wood flooring with varnish on it. In the ocean, currents carry microplastics far and wide. They even show up frozen in Arctic sea ice. The ocean locals, like fish and seabirds, sometimes mistake the plastic particles for food. And that's also how they can end up on our plates. So what we know is that they are in our bodies. We've found micro and nanoplastic in our blood. We found them in our uh, brain, in the heads. We found them in the gut. But are they harmful? We're not sure yet. The absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. So we should act to wish in the assumption it's causing a problem. Around the world, authorities are trying to tackle the problem. Like in Europe, where glitter and some products containing microplastics have been banned. And in Australia, there are container recycling schemes and bans on single-use plastics like straws and cutlery. And here at Australia's first ever nano and microplastic conference, scientists are sharing new ideas. We've got a company uh, that is called Alkeny. They are trying to develop uh, bacteria, so the little bugs, that are capable of eating plastic. So plastic is their food, and then they're producing gas that we can then use as an energy source. But they say we all have a role to play in tackling this big, tiny problem. Buy less plastic, throw out less plastic, reuse things. And for kids and children that are still deciding on what to do themselves, well, they can come and study science and help us find about the risk and the health impact of uh, microplastic because we need all hands on deck.